Now, the hunting of whales has resumed in Iceland after the country decided not to extend a temporary ban that was put in place earlier this summer. A series of new regulations and increased monitoring will be put in place, but opponents are outraged by the decision. Just three countries allow commercial whaling, and Iceland is the only place where large fin whales are still caught. From Reykjavik, here's Adrian Murray. This old whaling boat will soon be heading out to sea to go hunting. Earlier in the summer, the practice was suspended over animal welfare concerns. Now the government has let whaling restart, though the minister said she'd done so reluctantly. This discussion is far from over. I think it is important that it continues in the society as a whole and in politics. We are the last nation in the world that allows hunting of whales in this way. Environmentalists and animal rights activists condemned the move. It's a very sad day. I'm not really proud to be an Icelandic citizen today. But at the same time I am because um, the majority of us really doesn't want this and is actually fighting this. We're very disappointed by, by this decision. Um, we're, we're obviously living in a, in a biodiversity and a climate crisis and all our decisions should be based on solving these crises. An injunction has been filed in a bid to block further whaling. I want to encourage Iceland to maintain the ban on whaling. While some Hollywood filmmakers and actors have called for a stop. Fin whales are listed as vulnerable globally, but stocks in Iceland are reportedly stable. Only one whaling station still hunts them and mostly exports the meat to Japan. The firm Valor says it won't hang up its harpoons anytime soon. If you have a healthy stock of fish or whales, you utilize them. If the stocks are not healthy, you don't utilize them. It's as simple as that. And we have about a stock estimate for fin whales around Iceland is about 40,000 animals. The quota is about 160. Just two other countries, Norway and Japan, still allow commercial whaling. In 1986, there was a global moratorium due to dwindling whale stocks. Iceland halted the practice not long after, but restarted again in 2006. Around the world, commercial whaling has mostly been consigned to the history books. But here in Iceland, it remains a highly emotive issue. In recent years, the views of Icelanders have undergone a sea change. And the latest poll shows 42% are against the practice, while 29% remain in favour. It's totally against like animal rights. It's uh, totally against biodiversity of the sea, of the ocean. I think most Icelanders are against it. But there is you know, other parts of Iceland that sort of see it if it's done in a sustainable matter, it's, it's, it provides occupation. It was handled very poorly. The Minister of the Sea Affairs uh, did a very poor job. At this restaurant, whale dishes are among the best sellers. We make whale sashimi, and it's uh, influenced by the Japanese. And we have whale pepper steak. We have a local customers and then uh, a lot of tourists. Obviously, it's a tradition because we've been hunting the whale for uh, since 1947, but years, years and the century before. But while whaling has been done for centuries, one in four visitors now go whale watching. And it's a chance to see these creatures in the wild that's become one of Iceland's biggest draws. Adrian Murray, BBC News, Reykjavik.